In a world where dreams seem distant and destinies unclear, there exists a timeless tale that has captivated hearts across the globe. Welcome to our documentary on The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. In this documentary, we will know about the life of the author, story setup, main characters in the story, and, at the end, summary of the book, The Alchemist. So let's begin. Paulo Coelho, born August 24, 1947, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, is a novelist renowned for his rich symbolism and spiritual narratives. His unconventional journey to authorship, marked by personal struggles, includes rebellious clashes with his Roman Catholic upbringing, leading to stays in psychiatric institutions. Dropping out of law school in 1970, he embarked on travels across South America, North Africa, and Europe, shaping his later writing. Returning to Brazil, Qualo ventured into music, writing lyrics for Brazilian pop and rock songs. Political activism resulted in imprisonment and torture in the 1970s. A spiritual awakening on a pilgrimage along the road to Santiago de Compostela inspired his debut work, The Pilgrimage. His breakthrough came with The Alchemist in 1988, a tale of Santiago's quest for treasure, metaphorizing personal ambition and spiritual discovery. Initially slow to gain traction, the novel soared to popularity after a French translation became a bestseller in the early 1990s. Today, Coelho's works, translated into over 80 languages, have sold millions worldwide, inspiring readers with stories of personal growth and fulfillment. Set against the backdrop of ancient lands and timeless wisdom, The Alchemist weaves a tale of self-discovery, following the journey of Santiago, a young Andalusian shepherd boy with dreams as vast as the desert sky. The Alchemist features a cast of characters, each embodying different facets of the human experience. Here are the main characters. Santiago the protagonist, a young Andalusian shepherd who dreams of finding a treasure in the Egyptian pyramids. His journey is both physical and spiritual, as he seeks to understand his personal legend. The Alchemist, a mysterious and wise figure who guides Santiago toward his goal. He understands the soul of the world and the significance of personal legends. Melchizedek, the king of Salem who introduces Santiago to the idea of a personal legend and gives him the push needed to embark on his quest. Fafima, a woman from the desert whom Santiago falls deeply in love with. She represents love and the choices one must make to pursue their destiny. The Englishman, a scholar who travels with Santiago in the caravan. He is devoted to studying alchemy and is searching for the secret to turning metal into gold. The Crystal Merchant, a, a struggling shop owner who Santiago works for in Tangier. He teaches Santiago about the importance of realizing one's dreams. A recurring dream troubles Santiago, a young and adventurous Andalusian shepherd. He has the dream every time. He sleeps under a sycamore tree that grows out of the ruins of a church. During the dream, a child tells him to seek treasure at the foot of the Egyptian pyramids. Santiago consults a gypsy woman to interpret the dream, and to his surprise she tells him to go to Egypt. A strange, magical old man named Melchizedek, who claims to be the king of Salem, echoes the gypsy's advice and tells Santiago that it is his personal legend to journey to the pyramids. Melchizedek convinces Santiago to sell his flock and set off to Tangier. When Santiago arrives in Tangier, a thief robs him, forcing him to find work with a local crystal merchant. The conservative and kindly merchant teaches Santiago several lessons, and Santiago encourages the merchant to take risks with his business. The risks pay off, and Santiago becomes a rich man in just a year. 
Santiago decides to cash in his earnings and continue pursuing his personal legend to find treasure at the pyramids. He joins a caravan crossing the Sahara Desert toward Egypt and meets an Englishman who is studying to become an alchemist. He learns a lot from the Englishman during the journey. For one, he learns that the secret of alchemy is written on a stone called the Emerald Tablet. The ultimate creation of alchemy is the masterwork which consists of a solid called the Philosopher's Stone that can turn lead to gold, and a liquid called the Elixir of Life that can cure all ills. Santiago learns the Englishman is traveling with the caravan to the Saharan oasis of al -Fayim, where a powerful two-year-old alchemist resides. The Englishman plans to ask the alchemist the secret of his trade. As it turns out, the caravan must make an extended stop in Old Fame in order to avoid increasingly violent tribal wars taking place in the desert. There, Santiago falls in love with Fatima, who lives at the oasis. During a walk in the desert, Santiago witnesses an omen that portends an attack on the historically neutral oasis. He warns the tribal chieftains of the attack, and as a result, Old Fame successfully defends itself against the assault. The alchemist gets word of Santiago's vision and invites Santiago on a trip into the desert, during which he teaches Santiago about the importance of listening to his heart and pursuing his personal legend. He convinces Santiago to leave Fatima and the caravan for the time to finish his journey to the pyramids, and he offers to accompany Santiago on the next leg of his trip. While the alchemist and Santiago continue through the desert, the alchemist shares much of his wisdom about the soul of the world. They are mere days away from the pyramids when a tribe of Arab soldiers captures them. In exchange for his life and the life of Santiago, the alchemist hands over to the tribe all of Santiago's money and tells the soldiers that Santiago is a powerful alchemist who will turn into wind within three days. Santiago feels alarmed because he has no idea how to turn into the wind, and over the next three days he contemplates the desert. On the third day, he communicates with the wind and the sun and coaxes them to help him create a tremendous sandstorm. He prays to the hand that wrote all, and at the height of the storm he disappears. He reappears on the other side of the camp, and the tribesmen, awed by the power of the storm and by Santiago's ability, let him and the alchemist go free. The alchemist continues to travel with Santiago as far as a Coptic monastery, several hours from the pyramids. There, he demonstrates to Santiago his ability to turn lead into gold, using the Philosopher's Stone. He gives Santiago gold and sends him off. Santiago begins digging for the treasure at the foot of the pyramids, but to men accost him and beat him. When Santiago speaks to them about his dream vision, they decide he must have no money and let him live. Before leaving, one of the men tries to illustrate the worthlessness of dreams by telling Santiago about his own dream. It concerns a treasure buried in an abandoned church in Spain, where a sycamore tree grows. The church is the same one in which Santiago had his original dream, and he finally understands where his treasure is. He returns to Spain to find a chest of jewels and gold buried under the tree, and plans to return with it to Old Fame, where he will reunite with Fatima, who awaits him. As we close the pages of The Alchemist, we are left with the echoes of Santiago's journey, a reminder that the pursuit of our dreams is a voyage of self-discovery. The treasure lies not in distant lands, but within us, waiting to be unearthed through the lessons of life. Paulo Coelho's tale is an invitation to listen to our hearts and to have the courage to follow where they lead. May we all find our personal legends and the strength to chase them, just as Santiago did under the desert sun and the starry skies.